For the first time, I'm happy to announce that all this goodness of conversational search would be coming to all your desktops and laptops through Chrome. We'll announce some interesting upgrades to their search technology here. Uh, basically, it's doing some more stuff with natural language and can actually anticipate what you're going to ask based on your history and the question you just asked. So if you say, where's the Golden Gate Bridge? And it'll show you and then it'll say, well, how far is it from here? And it'll know exactly what you're talking about. Now that's sort of the basic level of this technology uh, and it, they can actually take it into some pretty cool places. How tall do you have to be to ride the Giant Dipper? You must be at least four feet, three inches tall to ride Giant Dipper. This is sort of taking it to the next level. Correct, taking it to the next level, and a lot of things that are really cool are some pronouns that are gonna be, we can show you here. So it, it's pretty smart. Okay, Google, who is Barack Obama? According to Wikipedia, Barack Hussein Obama II is the 44th and current president of the United States, the first African American to hold the office. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How tall is he? Barack Obama is six feet one inch tall. Okay, Google. Who is his wife? Barack Obama's spouse is Michelle Obama since 1992. Is the idea to basically have this available across platform, um, you know, Google, mobile, uh, laptop, wherever. So it'll be available on mobile and then uh, available in Chrome with laptops and desktops. Chrome, not just uh, Chrome OS, but if you have running the Chrome browser. Correct, and Linux too as well, and a couple others. Who is Pete Cashmore? According to Wikipedia, Pete Cashmore is the CEO and founder of the popular blog Mashable, a Technorati top 10 blog worldwide. Okay, Google. Where was he born? Pete Cashmore was born in Scotland. Okay, Google. How old is he? Uh. It was interesting with our queries about uh, our CEO that, you know, depending on which questions we asked exactly, sort of your results may vary. Where was he born? It's just giving me a list of results. Um, you know, didn't understand the context. But it's very interesting that depending on the context and, uh, of your search and exactly how you word it and what order the questions go in, um, it can give you different results. It'll take you know, time for it to all function as it should, but natural language and, and voice recognition is, is a very complex system. And what about people with accents, different languages? Um, is it in Britain, will it be all right, Google? <laughs> all right, Google. Um, so we're working on a lot of internationalization of all of these features as well. So um, be on the lookout for those type of launches. Is it only U.S. when, well, it's actually not even U.S. now, the new stuff in Chrome. Yeah, the new, um, the new stuff right now hasn't been launched yet, uh, but it will be very soon, but it's it's U.S. only. Okay, cool, and then just over time it'll be over, it'll spread. Over time, very, very soon time, so uh, as far as when it comes to the mobile, the mobile piece of it. That, my friends, is the power of the new search experience that we are building at Google, and it will change how you and I experience this beautiful journey that we call life.